Joined now by Mississippi Senator Roger Wicker. Uh, Senator, thanks for taking the time this morning. Hey, Jim. Thank you for uh, calling attention to these problems. Well, I want to ask you because, of course, you, you've been paying a lot of attention to this problem as well, and you visited the area during the flooding. Uh, first question is, is, is there relief in sight? Well, it, this has been a long-term problem, and yeah. uh, permanent relief is, is going to take a while. I, I will say this. We need to realize there's a flooding problem that's been going on for decades, and then there's the water and sewer problem that has also been a problem. This city has been under an emergency order from the EPA on safe drinking water for two years. This is the 10th year now under a consent decree uh, about water and sewer, um, about the sewage treatment system. So uh, it's been a long time getting here. We have solutions to the flooding problem that are really on the five yard line right now. We had the Corps of Engineers in last week. It happened that they were here during the flooding time but they see the problem and we can get that approved by EPA and the Corps of Engineers, uh, say within five months, that mm -hmm. would be part of the solution. Okay, uh, as you mentioned, this has been going on for, for, for years, de decades, uh, even some residents say there, who failed these people? It's, it's remarkable to see this taking place in, in the year 2022 oh. in America. Is it, is it the city, is it the county, is it the state, is it the federal government or, or all of the above? Uh, well, I, I really like to look forward, but mm. need, needless to say, there have been tax-based problems uh, with uh, with population decline. Um, uh, there are uh, there are some businesses that have moved out, but but the the fact remains, we have money in the pipeline. The bipartisan infrastructure bill provided mm. Mississippi four hundred twenty nine million dollars for uh, water and sewer treatment so this is uh this is part of it a, a large portion of that will be available in this coming fiscal year so uh, there's help on the way but but i'll tell you this is an emergency and and the american people are seeing this they're being very responsive and we're going to need additional federal help to uh to salvage the lives um and uh, and homes and futures of mm -hmm. our major city i, I have uh, six grandchildren that live mm. inside the city limits in Jackson. So this is personal to me, but it's also my capital city. You're among the Republicans who voted for that bipartisan infrastructure plan. You're just, I think it's often hard for people to understand how long that will take to make a difference. Can, can you give folks who are watching perhaps from the area now a sense as to, okay, when will there be a longer term fix here? Well, th there's gonna be a short term fix in terms mm -hmm. of, of this rented pump. And then uh, I think within a matter of, uh, of months, uh, we could get this one uh, pump fixed. But but we've we've known for a while that the problem goes much deeper. Yeah. We have uh, pipes under the city that are crumbling after decades and decades. So it will be a long term fix. But we need to get those fixes approved by Washington yeah. D.C. by the EPA and the people who mm -hmm. uh, have the ability to say yes to yeah. solutions that have come up that have been. Uh, um, arrived at on a bipartisan basis locally.